Hey guys, and this is going to be a really short video because I want to know your opinions on it. If any of you out there are programmers, I'm really interested to know this because we know a lot of um, phones and tablets and to an even bigger degree computers these days are coming with dual core chips than the next, or should I say, current now generation of this device has a dual core chip. Um, phones have a dual core chip. The L LG Optimus 2X has a dual core chip. Um, the Motorola Atrix has a, a dual core chip. A lot of devices now have dual core chips and it's certainly become established in the desktop arena but it's just become an established for phones because um, so once you get your opinions sign in you'll you'll probably know what I'm talking about by by the title of the video um which is better a lower clock dual core chip or a higher clock single core chip and I'm like I said I'd be interested to know um a, a developer kind of angle angle for this because um for a dual core chip you can access uh, I mean, the same amount, amount of power, but a a one gigahertz dual core chip could not access the same power as a two gigahertz single core chip. Dual core is not always better than single core because if you ha have a higher giga gigahertz rating, the custom apps don't have to be optimized um for the application. So you can see a raw speed add-on to, to where that I'm to worry about whether it's seeing the cause or not. But then you could argue that cause are more future proof because it's I think it's easier to create a one gigahertz dual core chip than a higher clock speed single core chip. Um but I'm just kind of interested in hearing what you guys have to say if any of your hardcore hard clock users or or software viewers um that know the pains or nicety of developing for a, a dual core versus single core chip. I'd be interested to know what you had to say. Um, again, my personal opinion, and I, and I wish a, a, a phone or tablet company would do this. It's better to have a higher clock single core chip, so a 2 gigahertz single core chip, as opposed to a one gigahertz dual core chip because you don't have to write the software to be aware of that higher, higher or that extra core. The inc the increasing clock speed is going to give some amount of power, but it's it's just it's just there. It doesn't have to be written specifically to be taken advantage of. So that's just my opinion. Again, I'd be really interested to know what developers have to say, or just you, you, you users like me have to say on this issue. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, the, pr the print is going, so that, that's a note I should probably get out of here, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. You can visit my website down below by the way, and make sure you leave the comments. Bye bye people.